Okay, you've got a problem in Excel where you've got a really tiny scroll bar handle and you want to reset it to match the area of the spreadsheet that you're actually using. Now, the most likely cause for this problem is that somewhere far down or far across your spreadsheet, you either have formatting, a value, a comment, or a note. And what we need to do is delete that formatting or delete that content. Now, to reset the vertical scroll bar, what you need to do is click in a cell beneath the last used row in your spreadsheet and do that in column A. Then use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift End and that'll select down to the last row that is being used in your spreadsheet. Now, if I scroll over here, you can see the offending cells. I've got some formatting here, a value here, a note here, and a comment here. Now to delete all that content, all I need to do is go to the Home tab on my ribbon, and I go to this Clear menu, and then select Clear All. Now it doesn't appear to have reset the scroll bar, but once I save the spreadsheet, it does so. Now to do the same thing for your horizontal scroll bar, what you do is you click into the first column that's to the right of the used area of your spreadsheet. And I've done that in row one. And then you use the same keyboard shortcut, Control Shift End, and that'll select to the last used column in your spreadsheet. And we can do the same thing, clear, clear all. And then if you save your spreadsheet, it will reset the scroll bar. Now, if that doesn't work, it could be that you have objects in your spreadsheet that are causing tiny handles on your scroll bar. Now, to quickly see if you do have objects in your spreadsheet, go to the Page Layout tab on your ribbon and click on Selection Pane. And down here, I can see that I have three objects in my spreadsheet. Now, what I want to do is to be able to select those objects, review what they are, and then delete them if necessary. Now to select all the objects in your spreadsheet, use the shortcut key control G, then go to special and then select objects down here, click on okay. And that'll select all of the objects and make at least one of them visible on your spreadsheet. Now to see all of them in the same place, what you can do is go to the align button here, align left, align top, and that should bring all of the objects into one place on your sheet so you can review them. Now, if I move these around a little bit, I can see the three objects there, and then basically I just need to delete them. Now, once I save my spreadsheet and go back up to the top of the worksheet, you can see that it has reset the scroll bars. Now, if you still are having problems with your scroll bar, there's one other option I can give you and that's to reset the used area using the Visual Basic Editor. Now to open the Visual Basic Editor, use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11, and then go to the View menu within the Visual Basic Editor and select Immediate Window. The Immediate Window will appear somewhere here. And what you need to do is type ActiveSheet.UsedRange and press Enter. You can then close the Visual Basic Editor and it should have reset your scroll bars. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.